Okay, so um, what is going on guys? Today I'll be um, replacing the thermal paste on this uh, brand new um, GTX 1080 um, because the temperatures are fine but um, it is running at around um, 80 degrees when even when the fan speed is at 80% so um, that's not what I wanted um, replacing a thermal paste on the GPU can make a huge difference like 10 degrees that's the difference uh, if you replace a thermal paste on um, a CPU it only makes 2 to 3 degrees difference so um, I'm gonna open up this reference cooler this is the reference cooler you can see right here and um, what we need is a big screwdriver and a small screwdriver and a few tissues so um, basically to open this card it has a total of 20 screws uh, you can see that they have four big screws here and 16 small screws all around so um, you have to open uh, take out every screws here um, and take out the um, the five screws here and uh, two of these screws here and before you can remove the cooler the rest of the screws here you don't need to do anything to it just leave it there so um, yep uh, after doing this I'll break for my warranty but it's still better than having high temperatures so um let's begin so um what we need to do is open up um, this all small screw and remember to wear gloves just to uh, prevent any static charges so we're gonna uh, let's start unscrewing this thing all right that's the first screw yep and that's the second screw Basically doing this, um, you don't need um, a degree or a scholarship in mechanic and mechanical engineering or any engineering. You just the basic knowledge you need to know is know how to build a PC and you can do this. Um, this um, the chances of damaging your card is like very low, like one percent, because it's, you are basically just changing the thermal paste. You're not um, alternating anything. Uh, you are just doing it. Yeah, even my grandma can do it, why not you? So um, a lot of people don't dare to do it and people have been, have been saying on my previous video when I changed directly on my um, 980Ti, the brand new one and then I changed it and people, a lot of people are very unhappy with it but um, after changing it, my temperatures was have never exceeded 70 plus degrees and I was pretty happy with it Okay, so this is the first back plate Oh, below it, oh, wait no, this is not. Yeah, this is screw. You can see there's the back plate down here. We're gonna put this aside and now let's go down to the second back plate. So we have quite a lot of screws here to, to, to work with. Like that. These are the big screws here. Um, this has more screws than my previous. Um, Reference GTX 980, uh, which has much more or less screw. I don't know why Nvidia and so many screws. So let's take a look at what's inside. What's inside here? So I'm, I'm very excited to, to see what's inside this video. So we're gonna remove all this thing. So okay, then there's the four small screws here. It's kind of boring watching me um, removing the screws, huh? Did they just, uh, yeah, this one screw. I have to be careful with the screws. Okay, so um, there's one more here. It's kind of tough. If you don't wish to um, replace the thermal paste, it's fine, but the temperature will be quite hot. So I would recommend, I would highly recommend you guys changing the thermal paste if your cut is running hot. Um, there's there's no more increasing the fan speed. Oh, oh because it will decrease the the fence life and uh, yeah there we go we have this no we are left with this four so uh that's the back plate and then put, oh we can see there's thermal pads down here so i think the thermal pads are for this 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 thing so we we not we should not touch the thermal pads so let's turn over we can see that we have a lot more screws here to do wait so um I'm gonna remove all of these screws here. Yep, 
I'm gonna put this on the other side so that you won't get confused on which um, which screws is which screws. Okay, so you have see I've removed um, every screws here. You can see all the screws are removed. Um, you have to remove this 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 two here, this two screw with a wrench or something, and you are basically done with it. So you can use a tool like this, this kind, you know, yeah, this is plenty, so we're gonna, we're gonna like twist it open. Just a little twist and you can just screw it out with your hand. It's, it's that simple, it's, it's not something that's tough. There we go, it's out. There's another, the last one. Okay, there's a, there's a bit of push and the whole thing should come off. There we go. Now it's off. Okay, so when this is off, we have the last four screws to work with, and we are basically done. There goes my warranty. Well, no one actually gives a fuck about it, right? So we put the screws here. We gonna um, we need to do it alternative, so um, we won't damage the board. Uh, I can't sleep right now. Okay. There we are, and this is the final screw. Okay, so this really should be able to come out. Um, should be able to come out right now. Oh, now I found this is more complicated than what I think it was. So, um, basically, these are screws on screw. You can see, you can see this tiny hole. Yeah, you have to you have to release this shit. So, same as per normal. You just turn it. Oh, this is gonna be the tough one. Yep. I didn't expect Nvidia to make it so so hard to um open it. Oh my god. It's like, it's like basically you have you must have a lot of patience in doing this. Okay, so I'll get back to you guys when I've unscrew sixteen of them. Okay, so basically I've um, unscrew everything. It's tough. Yeah, then we can remove it. Let's remove it gently. I can't seem to take it out. It's like stuck. Okay, it's out. So um yeah, there we go. We have the um GP out. And um this is the heat sink. Basically, we're gonna um, clean off this thing. <laughs> Make sure it is very clean. Look at how how little the, the thermal paste is. This is why it's ca it's causing it to be so um hot.
try to make it as clean as possible so that um can you hear the sound the squeaky sound really I'm, I'm, I'm able to clean off the side of it, but it's it's okay. Let's clean the um, GPU side. So the heating side will be pretty simple. You don't have to care about anything. You just have to like clean it as per normal as per you would. This is like the um, 14 nanometer GPU. And the GP104. The thing my camera can focus. Yep, there we have it. Nice and shiny. So now we're gonna apply a new thermo paste to it. So. So um, this is the Arctic MX4 I'll be using. So we're gonna just apply a P on it and then it, it got stuck. Just a tiny P. Okay, I think I applied too much. But there we have it. You will do, and it's time to assemble it back. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm doing alternatively so that um, they have the same pressure on each, each side. So the, the thermal paste will not like much, will, will, will spread evenly. And now we can pull back everything. Okay, so um, we are done with it. Yep. So let's boot it up and see how it how cool it runs. Um. So after that, afterwards, this is my first time breaking two resistors from the GPU itself. You can see this one, this one here. Uh. Yeah. 
um, if you break a resistor or two, it's fine. It don't make a huge difference. Or it it will not affect anything at all. It's just basically like um, it's just a resistor. If you broke something on the main board itself, like the the main thing, the big big thing or anything, the main resistor, then you're you're dead like You will not sometimes won't put out lah. Um, the reason why I broke this oh, is right. So hey guys, um, this is I'm running Unigen. Uh, Heaven benchmark 4.0 after the thermal paste replacement and um, it's running fine my PC right now um, you can see that it is running at quite a high FPS and you can see the mem the average speed um, is either think at 75 70 plus degrees you guys you can see here it's, it's running at 2 gigahertz man 2 gigahertz at 75 degrees previously I, I had the previously without the replacement um i'm uh i'm running at around 83 degrees celsius um 83 84 so it's like reaching 90 degrees but right now after the turbo pace it's like i think it's around 74 75 degrees and uh, my previous test before i record this video it was at 71 degrees so that was amazing before i i didn't switch on this monitor so it was at 71 degrees when i switch on this monitor it went up but you can see that the the, the speed it was it's it maintained and i was doing it in overclock mode you can see that the fan speed is 50, even 53 percent so even if i increase it to 60 percent it will go down to 60 degrees that is awesome and uh yeah previously my fan speed was 80 degrees in order to keep the temperature at around these degrees so you can see the huge difference in it it's like a 10 degrees difference so um i overclock it you can see i will do more overclocking to it even though i broke some of the resistor but that's that's not um the there's nothing to if i broke if you broke anything there's really nothing but um that's one thing i, I want to say that the, you pay hundred dollar extra for a founders edition card they should put more on the quality but no it don't yeah it's a light touch and it broke off so you must be, if you want to change um thermal paste or you want to do anything with the um reference the 1080 founders edition um i wouldn't recommend you doing it because it's kind of a tough job to do you have to open screw and open quite a lot of screws but if you are experienced you can do it because it is a huge performance increase and a huge low in temperature and uh, yeah if you i'm not if you're not if you're scared to do it you can just go down to a local pc shop or anything they'll, i think they'll help you replace it for just like a few bucks but if you can do it yourself or not you can you can see that um the the core clock is at um 2000 megahertz i don't think i can focus but you can see that it is remaining constant throughout but without the thermal paste upgrade it goes and then you throw it down and up and down and up and the memory clock you see all okay this is 84 degrees but i don't know why this is three but um i think there's something wrong with the reading here but anyway uh we have the gpu voltage the voltage even if i broke the resistor is still this everything is perfectly fine i'll be running this for about 15 minutes now and um it's running fine on ultra setting so yeah um if you ask me, I would definitely recommend you doing on any card to replace your thermal paste. It will be awesome. You will get more performance out of it. And yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. If you found this video meaningful, helpful, just leave a just leave it a like and um, give a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Fuck! Oh no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking.